I'm gonna jump out of a plane in this video. If you don't know, a few days ago was my birthday. It's okay, you don't have to say happy birthday. Just subscribe down below if you like any of this content. And generally for my birthday, if it's up to me, I just go live on Twitch and farm as many prime subs as possible because people feel bad because it's my birthday. And then I order Domino's pizza and fall asleep at midnight. But this doesn't really happen anymore because I'm dating cutie Cinderella who's kind of like the superwoman of girlfriends when it comes to big celebrations. If you want proof, look no further than the surprise roast on my third year stream anniversary. Welcome to the roast of Ludwig Ogren. I mean, who does a surprise roast? I've never even heard of that. I didn't know it was a thing. And so, as my birthday was rolling around this year, I thought that she might have been up to something. It's Ludwig's birthday. He's in the other room sleeping and we have a surprise at um noon that we have to leave soon for but i didn't realize how much i underestimated her until she walked into my room and my two best friends told me this time to go we gotta go we gotta go jump out of a plane bro oh no let's just do brunch now if i don't look too excited to jump out of a plane well, it's because I don't want to jump out of a plane! Now, obviously, this isn't out of nowhere. The reason I told Cutie that I would ever even want to do this is because of Tommy in it. Oh my god, this is a nice gift. <laughs> you said you wanted to go skydiving. And you said Tommy in it could do it, I can do it. He does say that a lot. He yeah, actually says that about a lot. everything. He says 10 mil though, yeah. I can't do that. You know, I didn't think through on this one. That's right, Mr. Almost 10 million subscribers on YouTube, Mr. Vlogger, Mr. Minecraft Mod, Mr. Great with Women, who once upon a time was a Ludwig viewer DMing me for advice. Look at him say, boys, the plan is simple. The plan was incredibly simple. That's a lie. Thank you, Tommy. Well, the simple plan today was to jump out of a goddamn plane because we were watching one of his vlogs where he did the exact same thing. And I turned to Cutie and I was like, I could do that. I was just talking shit because I didn't want to be outdone by a 17-year-old British kid. You get that? You can understand that? Not wanting to be outdone by a 17-year-old British kid? I'm not saying Tommy's not great. I'm just saying a 17-year-old British kid shouldn't outdo a 26-year-old man. That's how I thought things went. Until Tommy rolled around, my life was going much better. Then I had to jump out of a plane, Tommy. This is your fault. Anyway, I found out I had to jump out of a plane. And I wasn't too excited about it. But I, I wouldn't say I was scared. Hey, what's up? You just scared? No. I feel phenomenal right now, you're actually. <laughs> Are you feeling good? Oh, I feel terrible. Oh, man, you're gonna go out there and have some fun. Give me high five. I have to do it. I was a little bit scared. Now, luckily for me, I had three of my best friends jumping out with me. Somehow, Cutie managed to convince Aiden, Ben, and Mango to jump out of a plane at the same time as I did to make it a little better of an experience. Uh, but the, some people were handling it a little bit better than others. Tell the people why you decided to join this adventure, Heyman. Uh, I've always wanted to go skydiving. It seems uh, fucking awesome. Like in every single way, it's like the best type of adrenaline rush. And you? I'll do anything one time. And you? This is my one time. I did it because a 17-year-old <laughs> British kid did it, and I would have felt like a pussy if I didn't. So fuck you, Tommy. I am a pussy. I'm not doing it. Thanks for driving. Mango also yeah. a pussy not doing it. He's gonna do it. Mango was a part of the original plans and spent the last two days coming up with a new excuse as to why he can't jump from the airplane. He didn't have time to meet us at our house and drive with us, but we have gotten him to the actual skydiving place where these boys are convinced that they can call him a pussy enough times that he'll get on the plane. So. 100%. I feel a little guilty shaming a man into jumping off a plane. Why? By emasculating him. What, what if you did it to me? Well, you'd be a pussy if you didn't jump. <laughs> All right, you feel good? Yeah, I feel wonderful. You need anything? No, I'm lying down because I'm so excited to jump out of the plane. Yay! I'm remembering what ground feels like because I'll forget it soon. Great, well, you look handsome. Day. When we finally showed up to the skydiving location, we were met with a really nice office reception area, and they showed us a cool introductory video to help us learn about skydiving. The positive side of her is obvious to most people. 
the thrill of jumping out of an aircraft in flight. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. You guys are gonna be kissing each other. I remember my first jump, so I know you're excited and want to jump right away. If that dude jumped out of a plane, I could jump out of a plane. That guy can chop trees with his bare hands. You will be each of these devices, people, and corporations are subject to malfunction. Failure to perform as expected or required, or to human error. He's not making me feel good about it. Not anymore. He was killing it for the first half. He spent 15 more minutes talking about how I could die and I've signed away my entire life. I don't want to sign away my entire life. I want to sue you if I die. That's what I like doing when I'm dead. Suing people. I'm an American. But after the video, luckily, we got right to diving diving into a, a two hour break. All right, we've been here for about two hours. Nothing, Nothing has happened besides some basketball. Oh. <laughs> that was definitely not mango. We waited two hours for finally someone to come up and show me what to do. Cause to this point, I have had no training. I don't think you're supposed to be prepared for skydiving in day-to-day -day life. My normal jumps is about, I don't know, an 18-inch vertical on a good day. You tell me. Not bad! But I'm not exactly accustomed to jumping from 14,000 feet, which is what skydiving is. It's jumping from 14,000 feet. And so I was really relieved when finally my tandem diver, the man who's going to be strapped to me, Alex came out. Yeah. <laughs> you seem like you do some sick shit in the air. It's a cool job. Oh, yeah. I can't really catch you. Try. I love that word. <laughs> Try to catch you. That's a better video. Sometimes you miss, but most times you catch. I found out he's a really cool dude from Russia, specifically Siberia, who moved to the United States to skydive, which is crazy. It made me feel really comfortable because he also had a bunch of arm sleeve tattoos and it felt like he was the type of guy that Red Bull or X Games would be like, yeah, you, you can hang out with us. You know, he, he just seemed badass. Why guy looks That's like he point. could get an X Games gold fucking medal? He can he can call me a cocksucker as long as he brings me down to the ground in one piece. At least he he call you a cocksucker in a cool I'm, accent. I'm not trying to shit on my guy because he might see this. Wesley, thank you for doing this for me. But, <laughs> to be a little more charismatic. Honestly, like... <laughs> and I expected a really in-depth guide on what to do. And this is what he told me. Head up. Put your body in the shape of a banana. Put your feet up like a scorpion. And that's it. That is everything he told me. The only other piece of info was to hold on to your straps, which he didn't need to tell me to do. I was doing that even when I was on the ground. That's every single thing I learned. It took about 15 seconds, 15 seconds to learn all of that. To be honest, I spent more time learning how to parallel park, and that seems a lot lower stakes. Like, like way, way, way lower stakes. It took longer to learn Nintendo safety guidelines than it did to understand every single thing I needed to know before jumping out of a plane at 14,000 feet. How does that... How does that make sense? Mango wanted to show you guys his taco in case he dies so his son knows that he had a fish taco. That was my last meal. And he cries every time he sees a taco. Or a fish. Or a fish. And so we were ready to embark on our journey. Down came our plane and me, Mango, Aiden, and Ben were off. That, we're on that plane? Yeah, that's your plane. Um, yeah. That is crazy. It's crazy to see. Now, if it isn't obvious by now, Mango was the most scared of the group to actually jump out of the plane. I mean, he didn't sign the waiver until five minutes before. They almost didn't let him get on the plane because of how long he delayed it, but he still got on the plane. And even when you're on the plane, you're still allowed to back out. But I wanted to make sure he didn't, so I was trying to give him some encouraging words. Last sips of water. Don't stop it. Before we go on the plane. Uh, stressy Labressi. Oh, oh. You have to call your mom? Yeah, what's yeah I gotta save my last message. Oh my god. That's cute. That's cute. That's terrifying. I'm not gonna lie. I'm scared. Hey. <laughs> this looks like a senior picture. My last pictures. 
What am I supposed to do if you die on a plane? Uh, upload it, the thumbnail is you like this, and then my casket, but well, then you have to lift my body up, so I'm like slightly... Oh my god. It's a million views. I think maybe it's because I'm getting a bit older. I kind of like living is what I've decided. And so I don't want to destroy that relationship I have with me being alive and Earth having me on it. And instead me doing... So I looked up the numbers. Maybe it's weird, but I looked up what are the statistics? What is the likelihood that you die if you jump out of a plane with a man strapped to your back? And I found out, at least in the States, it's one in 500,000. And although you might be thinking to yourself, Ludwig, what, what does that mean? How do I contextualize that? How do I use that number? Let's play a little game. This is what I did with my three friends to decide whether or not they had to jump out of a plane. So I'm gonna do a random number generator, guess a number. 367,502. Okay. Yeah. 212,731. 97. 140,000. We're all clear. We're all good. All right, let's go. Oh, God. Turns out that none of us guessed right. So the likelihood of anything going wrong was pretty low. Not zero. Now, as we got into the plane, it's almost aligned like uh, some battle royale. I feel like I'm in a live action PUBG. I don't know if PUBG is what invented skydiving, but well, at least that's what Jack Manifold says. It's crazy to think PUBG invented this. I'm not kidding. Within 60 seconds of getting on the plane and taking off, they opened the door. And I thought we were already going to jump out, but we were really low. And Alex reassured me. He said, no, we, we jump at 15,000 feet. We were only at two. So I said, why do you have the door open? It was for AC. They open a door that makes you leave a plane for air conditioning. It's 2021, motherfuckers. We figured out AC, all right? We're masters of air conditioning and global warming. We're America, goddammit. You don't have to open a door to the outside. I thought we were all gonna get sucked out. I've seen enough scary movies. When you open a door in a plane, you get sucked out. I don't know why we didn't get sucked out. Someone who's a, a master plane sucker can un, in, in, teach everybody in, in the comments. Why do you not get sucked out of plane when plane is moving? I thought you're supposed to get sucked out. Is it is it because we were going too slow? Is it because we weren't high enough? I don't know. I thought I was going to get sucked out. I didn't get sucked out. I didn't get sucked off on the plane. No one sucked me. So anyway, immediately I started noticing that all the stress I was feeling was not really being felt by the professional divers. In fact, they were really aloof. I remember the camera woman for Aiden looked over at his tandem diver and it was like, oh. and they were motioning how many more jumps they have as if they were working at like Taco Bell and they had another hour on the clock and they didn't want to make more chalupas. I'm about to die here. And they were acting like it's another day in the office. But for as scared as I was and as nerve wracking as the experience became, this is one of the coolest things ever. This is all of us jumping out of a plane at 14,000 feet. Goodbye, my boyfriend. I hope you come back alive. I'll be really sad if you don't. Oh my God. Final words? Yeah, sure. Yeah, um, hey, 30% of people watching my videos are subscribed. Subscribe to Love We Got YouTube. Okay, still no sign of them. It's um, not exaggerating. Been 20 minutes since they took off. I'm like, you're starting to get paranoid. I'm like, what if they were still on the plane and the plane crashed? But I would probably like 
here if the plane crashed, I would think. It's just weird that none of them are back yet. <laughs> Nice, dude. What'd you My think, God. man? That was terrifying and exhilarating. Now, skydiving is a two-part process. Part one is the part that everyone thinks about. It's when you're traveling at terminal velocity towards this big thing we call the ground. And if you don't stop yourself, you die. So you have to go to part two, which is the parachute part. And the parachute part is actually a little bit scary because the moment they pull the chute, the guy who has the chute strapped to his backpack goes, and I go a little bit after, so we were offset. I was like below him. And this was the weirdest thing ever. Alex, as I am flying through the air, reaches down to my straps and says, I'm gonna make you more comfortable. And me, I trust this guy with my life because I jumped out of a plane with him. I have to. He undoes my straps and I fall half a foot because of how much slack he gave me. I grabbed onto his thighs. He's like, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be fine. I'm just giving, I make it loose, sit down. Fuck that, Alex! I'm gonna die in this goddamn parachute! Eventually, I make it down, and luckily, and also unluckily, I find out only when I make it down that I almost died. Yeah, apparently, while we were in the air, one of the other cameramen almost collided with us. And apparently when you collide at terminal velocity, you can die or get knocked out. And if you get knocked out while you're flying, you die. Or it could have malfunctioned the equipment. And if the equipment malfunctions while you're flying, you die. None of that happened, thankfully. But it's really cool because this skydiving location has a big penalty for divers who um, might mess up in flight. No. Not only there's a thing going where someone fucks up, they buy people a beer. And the guy walks up and he's like, oh, I, I owe you a beer. Oh, That's yeah. funny. Sorry, chat. I'm shaking. I was like, almost killed. I was you. seriously. Yeah. You guys weren't. Scary, man. You guys weren't scary. coming down. I was like, I was like, did the plane crash? Yeah. Doesn't seem too bad. You know, my my life's worth a few pints. I'll I'll take that. I, I would have hoped for a pitcher personally, or maybe a round of shots. But I'll take a few pints. I'm not greedy. And there it is. That was my birthday. That cutie forced me to go on, and I'm kind of glad I did. It was really cool as an experience but i'm only glad i did it so i can finally say i didn't get beat by a 17 year old british kid <sighs> fuck